All right, who's ready to top off their turkey tacos or turkey taco bowls? Um, this is one of my favorite tips and tricks from the kitchen. I'm sharing it with you today. Um, it is something where uh, if you've been to a Mexican restaurant and you've seen crema, it's kind of like sour cream, but it seems to have a little zing to it. Um, I like to make this type of crema either with sour cream or Greek yogurt. Um, I like to incorporate yogurt into my daily meal plan at some point, uh, whether it's for breakfast or uh, mixed into a soup or like this on top of a veggie bowl. Um, I think that yogurt really with the good bacteria helps keep our gut in check. Not something that everybody likes to talk about in the kitchen, but I do think it's good. It helps with digestion and can really eliminate some of the bloating that especially people have after big meals. So you are going to love this. I take there's really no measurement. I would say about a cup of Greek yogurt. So maybe a little bit more. And this is something that you can store in your fridge for a couple days after you make it as well. But I've got just about a cup there. Kosher salt. Um, you could use table salt or iodized salt. Um, I use maybe a little under a tablespoon. I'm just gonna toss that in. And then half of a lime. I just take a fork stick it in the middle, and then as I squeeze this, I twist the fork, and that's gonna get all the juices right into the yogurt. Um, I do love Greek yogurt on its own. I think it's terrible, uh, but when you can add flavorings like this, it makes it much more enjoyable. And again, this is really just a supplement to your main course, so you're not using a lot anyway. But that's it. It's Greek yogurt, some lime juice, and some salt, and then you just give it a nice little stir, you can kind of whip it together. You could use a whisk if you want so it gets a little bit more lighter and airy. And this is exactly what you can top tacos with. Um, if you make a soup, uh, it's just excellent. Chili, on top of chili, it's great. So if you're trying to use something a little bit healthier, you know, in the grand scheme of things, a little bit of sour cream compared to a little bit of Greek yogurt, there probably isn't too much of a net difference there. So go with what you enjoy, but if you're looking for something with a little bit more flavor and you wanna try and be a little bit healthier, this is for you. So give that a try, there you go. It's as simple as that. Cover it, put it in a container, most importantly, enjoy it. All right, everybody, it's time to put these turkey vegetable bowls together. Pretty much all, all made with a lot of leftover ingredients from the big meal. Um, what I like to do is, I've got my bowl here, start with about a cup of spinach, fresh spinach, and that's going to go in. Remember, everybody's avoiding romaine right now, and I would suggest you do the same. So starting with it fresh and then adding warm ingredients to it is actually going to wilt it down. So it gives it a nicer texture without being too slimy and shrinking down completely if you were to cook it down. So from here, I would add some of my rice, broccoli and cauliflower. Again, you could do just cauliflower. There you go, so I've got the warm rice now already on top of the vegetables. You can skip the fresh vegetable part if you'd like. Then I've got leftover turkey, about a half a cup here. Um, this is all chopped up, so this is going on. That's gonna press uh, the rice down into the fresh veggies. So right now you've got veggies and protein. And then I'm going to spoon over, this is our leftover cranberry sauce, ooh, without spilling it, with um, the celery, which is leftover, jalapeno. So this is basically taking the place of salsa. Now you could, if you want, wait and use this after it cools off. I'm gonna use it warm, sprinkle this right on top, and that thyme sprig is still in there. Um, you can pull that out whenever you want, and if you end up refrigerating some of this, I know the goal is to really eliminate leftovers. Now you might have a little more, but at least you've got a different purpose here. Um, if you wanted, you could add cheese at this point. I'm gonna go with some of our crema that we made with the Greek yogurt, lime, and salt. Really, just a little dollop like that. And there you have it. This is so tasty. This is a lot of the way we eat here, just kind of being resourceful with what we have on hand, trying to make it quick and easy so that cleanup is a breeze. Um, 
And there you go. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you find it tasty. I hope that maybe you put your own uh, spin on this or your little twist. If you do, be sure to let me know what you do so that I can try it as well. Um, and for now, enjoy.